the Contrasy. Possibly the most famous perspective trick of them all. Invented by Alfred Hitchcock for use in the film Vertigo. Unless, of course, it was invented a lot earlier. It is achieved by pushing the camera forward while zooming out. Or the other way around. Perspective tricks. Bring the perspective shift black. Unfortunately for this one, you could really do with using Blender. Okay, so... One, why did you wait so long before covering such a famous trick? And two, didn't you just explain how to do the trick before we even got to the intro sequence? And three, how can we need Blender if this was a trick that was invented in... 1958. What I'm on about is using drivers to set up an auto zoom so a certain object remains the same size on screen no matter how far it is from the camera so that you can just move the objects away and it will just contra zoom automatically using drivers. So you probably know that this number controls how wide the camera angle is and you may ask yourself how do you measure an angle in millimeters and the photographers say no, that's how we measure camera angle. It's the same as it ever was. It's the same as it ever was. And you bond over your love of randomly quoting song lyrics in the middle of a tutorial. Okay, look. This is a diagram of a camera. This is the thing we're photographing. And the light goes through this lens onto this which is either some photographic film or probably more likely to be an electronic light sensor these days. But either way, it's 36 millimeters as long except when it's not. You can make it not be 36 millimeters long here, but I'd rather you didn't. Let's just leave it at 36 millimeters for now because that just, just we just don't need to adjust that, okay? That just doesn't, this is not part of the tutorial. You can adjust that to your heart's content in your own time. Just, just leave it for now. You are right? Good. And this, this is the focal length measurement. That's that number that we were looking at earlier. This value here, when you swivel your zoom lens, this is what you're adjusting. And this is why we measure camera angle in millimeters. And this is an oversimplification of the truth and should never be used to manufacture cameras. So, what if we used a driver to make the focal length equal to the distance between the thing we're photographing and the camera times something? That would mean that as we move the object closer, and farther from the camera, it remains the same size on the screen because this length would be the same as this length. And you see how that, that cross moves. Yep, yep. You're getting this. You're getting that that would work. Yep. Cool, cool. Let's set up the drivers. We've got it. Let's set up the drivers. Okay, so this is the camera. And this monkey head called Suzanne is the object that we want to remain the same size on screen no matter how far away the camera is from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the camera, already in camera buttons, I'm going to right click focal length, add driver, and I want to set that drop down to distance. And of course it's the distance between the camera and where are you? Suzanne. The distance between camera and Suzanne is called var, and for some reason the expression defaults to var plus 20. So I want it to be var times something, so let's try var times 1, asterisk is times, that's too far, so let's go maybe var times 4. You can basically play with this number till, he's the right si till she is the right size on screen. So now if I grab the camera, I can move the camera around and everything zooms in and out so that Suzanne remains the same size on screen. Or you could just scale the entire screen in the direction the camera's facing.